So this question says the function g is defined by g of x equals absolute value x over a minus 14, where a is less than 0. What is the product of g of 15a and g of 7a? So basically the question is saying what is g of 15a times g of 7a? Well, it would be really great if we knew what a was. We know that a is less than zero. I have this rule, I have a strategy called plug in your own number. Typically, I like to use this strategy whenever I have answer choices that contain variables. But there is a second reason why I also like to use that strategy. And that is wherever I wish I knew what a variable represented. And this definitely falls into that category. If I knew what a represented, I would be, this would be a very easy question for me. So I'm going to say a is equal to negative 2, right? So if you follow any of my videos, you know that I usually use it, um, 2 when I plug in my own number. But because our a value is less than 0, I'm going to go with a is negative 2. So using a is negative 2, that would mean I'm looking for g of 15 times a, which makes a g of negative 30, times g of negative 14. Okay, let's go with that. So g of negative 30. Well, I know if g of x is equal to the absolute value of x over a minus 14, then g of negative 30 would be equal to the absolute value of negative 30 over a, which is negative 2, minus 14. The absolute value of negative 30 is positive 30 over negative 2 minus 14. 30 divided by negative 2 is negative 15, minus 14 is negative 29. So we got that taken care of. So g of negative 30 is negative 29. How about g of negative 14? Well, g of negative 14, that would equal the absolute value of x, which is negative 14, or absolute value of negative 14, I'm sorry, divided by a, again, which is negative 2, minus 14, the absolute value of negative 14 is positive 14 divided by negative 2 minus 14. Negative 14, I'm sorry, 14 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 7 minus 14. And negative 7 minus 14 is equal to negative 21. Therefore, g of negative 14 is negative 21. So I have negative 29 times negative 21. So all that's left to do is to multiply these two numbers together. Negative 29 times negative 21. I go to my calculator, and what I get is that that is equal to 609. So our answer here is positive 609.